Hello, gamers. Where's my stream avatars? Where are they? There they are. Uh, let's see. Where should I, I should put these under the chat? It's probably the base, best place for them. <laughs> so, welcome. Can you be unwormed? Yeah, I guess I, I, you know, I'm reluctant to, but I guess I can unworm my wife at this point. Where is she? There she is. Now you will become Marshado. Fixed. Hello, everybody. What's up? What's up, Charler? Hello, Stormstripe. Hello, End. Of course, hello, Gengar. Yeah, I can manually, I can do a bunch of crazy stuff. Yeah, I have god powers. I can do this and this and this and this and this. I can actually drop a bomb. I can drop bombs as much as I want on here. Look at that. I can just cause mass destruction. <laughs> what about you? Well, you're Vic you're Jirachi. Do you want me to make you something different? The nuke? I'm nuking everyone. <laughs> Throw us around. Pet Bingus. I didn't say hi. Oh, I'm sorry, Alyssa. Hi. Hi, Alyssa. Hi. <laughs> so what are we doing? This is a uh, modded version of um, Pokemon Conquest made by Mystic Gengar. And hang on one sec. You know what I can do, actually? Oh, I didn't know. Everybody should. Um, oh god. <laughs> We're just gonna fire the ultimate weapon really quick. <laughs> this is so ridiculous. I'm so glad I made this redeem. Mystic Gengar. Everybody should subscribe to Mystic Gengar on YouTube.com because he made this hack for the stream and he is pretty cool. You should follow him on everything but he is mostly on YouTube. He makes videos on YouTube. He makes shorts. He streams on YouTube. Um, so go subscribe to him. He's pretty cool, and he made this for us. So, that's pretty awesome. So, w what is the mod? The mod replaces the protagonist with um, myself, with my avatar. There are other modifications. I don't know anything else past that. I know, like, almost nothing about what else has been changed. Um, so it's kind of exciting because there are a couple other modifications. And I'm sorry, I didn't even see that Mirabi takeover. Um, so before, before we get into it, we'll have a quick Mirabi takeover to warm up. I'll see you guys in a second.
we're back. You came at a fantastic time, Casey. <laughs> Welcome. No greater time to arrive than when Mirror B is taking over the stream. Okay. All right, I'm excited. Let's check out what this is all about. If you love what's shown here, you might give the patch and update the proper. Give the patch and update and proper release, but that'll be after the stream. Absolutely. If anyone really wants to play this version of the game, uh, I'm sure that you'll be able to sometime after the streams of it. You miss the Mario? Well, we're not looking for Mario anymore, so, you know, there's no need to call out for him. Next Halloween, Mario will go missing again and we'll have to shout for him. And, oh, have a good night, V-Bunny. Thanks for stopping by. Okay, let's start. I'm ready. We need to look for Luigi. We need a clip of Mario shouting for Luigi. Okay. Hydrate all of some water while I... Actually, let me pull up my volume thing just to make sure the sound is okay as we start. Okay, let's go. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right. <laughs> it's already a fantastic start. This is already really good. Really good. Hello, ladies oh, perfect. and gentlemen. There he is. To episode <laughs> one of Germacraft. Oh, don't tell me that you replaced the main villain with Germa. Oh, that's gonna be so funny, please. That's gonna be so good. <laughs> okay, how does the game audio sound? Is it too loud or too quiet? Music slaps in this game, by the way. never seen this game so it might as well be real this is a <laughs> yumi and end experiencing uh conquest for the first time through this stream is kind of insane you're probably okay to watch um like the first couple streams of the game yumi uh before we get into like later game territory so let me explain actually my like experience um with a conquest Stream audio is a bit loud. I'll turn it down a little bit. Hang on. Hopefully that's a bit better. Why is Mewtwo in ancient Japan? I wonder if they actually explained that in the game. So Conquest I've played multiple times, but only like the first five hours of it. I've actually never, um, like laid any longer into the game um, past like the opening bits so oh you don't want to see my my mouse on my very legitimate uh, Nintendo DS no we don't want that hang on okay that's better I love real Nintendo DS systems. <laughs> yeah, the title screen is cute. I like the Neko Lacey edition written in Comic Sans. <laughs> oh, you have your save data on here again, car to you. <laughs> I guess I'll start a new game. Oh, hang on. Well, that's okay. How do I delete the save data that's existing on here? It's probably one of those crazy DS combinations, right? And, like on mainline Pokemon games. Hang on, hang on. Pokemon Conquest. How to erase save data. A, B, X, Y. 
Wait. I think it has. Yeah, I think it has to be in the title screen. Yeah, there we go. Okay, You're pressing every button during startup is a good is a good way to go about it. Press up, down, B, start, X, left, trigger, right, trigger, touch the touchscreen, hold the power. God, they make it so difficult to uh, wipe um, wipe save data on DS games. Oh, what? <laughs> Get guard. <laughs> What's this text on screen? <laughs> I like that you thought to even edit that one. Does it actually say that in the actual game? I don't know if it does. Send the locust after him. The Lucy has arrived. Thank God Lucy is here. This is going to be quite the experience, chat. <laughs> Are you a nothing or a neck, Lucy? <laughs> Why is this so funny to me? <laughs> Girl! Girl! It's amazing! <laughs> you are a Nekolisi, is this right? Yes. One of the craziest... What's <laughs> the craziest uh, protagonist designs in all the Pokemon? <laughs> oh my god. This is so funny. Yeah, we're playing Conquest. Mobs, it's... We're playing a normal version of Conquest. <laughs> The moment you realize <laughs> the best part is the phone. That's actually my uh, that's my customized Pokemon decks, which is still something that wouldn't exist in this time frame. Which is probably the best part. Okay, we we've seen this. The Kingdom of Aurora. Love the bottom screen. an odd to know that's a pokemon you don't usually see around here ah so chat <laughs> i like that i don't really have like a shocked expression on my avatar so we have to use the excited expression to show shock hey you you're neko right roar's new warlord we're from ignis that's worth the kingdom next to this one no, the crust is like the best part of it. The crust is so good. <laughs> Angie, with the, Angie with the smug auto note. Let's go. Neko's army. Let's go. This is way funnier than like actual sprite work. It's smug to know. The auto note is really good. There she is, so... Yeah, Gengar replaced the starter, which is originally Eevee, uh, replaced it with Adeno, which is fantastic. So good. Also, oh my god, the music in this game is so good. Every time I hear the song, I cannot get over it. Eevee noise Adeno. <laughs> I've deleted an Eevee from the world. Goodbye. Adeno. Such a banger, this music is so good. Please wait, <gasps> it's chat. It's chat, Autono can evolve. Oh my God, Autono can evolve into what? Evolve? Oh, hang on. Mintley enters and immediately fires the ultimate weapon. <sighs> well, we've already destroyed the whole region. Can evolve 
Well, I think in the game you could obviously evolve your Eevee into any of the evolutions, right? So does that mean Autono has a bunch of different evolution paths in this? Chat's gonna fight with me. Thanks, Lysander. I don't know, evolves into different dermas. I don't know the... I'm so curious about it. There's an I don't know for each evolution. Oh, that's crazy cool. I'm so excited. Let me help you. Thanks, chat. Movement, like this. Really nice of you to teach me how to play the game, chat. I wouldn't have known without chat teaching me. The chat is so funny to me. Anyway, I know how to play this game. I do. No problem, smile. Chat backseating. <laughs> Chat backseating in the actual game. When streamer play game wrong. If these people take our castle, Aurora will be... Leave this one to me. Okay, chat, you got this. Good job, chat. Look at you go. You guys are pretty good. <laughs> I did this. You all did this. So does Autono have all of Eevee's moves? Hmm. Taken care of. Aurora Castle will never fall to you. I love that I'm holding up Autono on my hand. <laughs> I love how crusty the sprites are. The chat helped. Thank you, chat. Lord Hideyoshi is gonna be mad. Never mind that, let's get out of here. Shock, shock chat emoji. Your link with Autono, it's already so strong. You might just be the one. What do you mean, chat? What do you mean, the one? So funny. I'm... I'm gonna go insane when they start talking about the main villain of the game. <laughs> and it's just gonna be Jerma. You're a natural in battle. I'm sorry, I haven't introduced myself. My name is... <laughs> My name is... Chat! I've been on a journey with Jigglypuff here. Jigglypuff assigned as Chat's Pokemon. If you don't mind, I'd like to join your army. I, I guess I'll have you, chat. Yeah, that's you guys. <laughs> I will give my all in your service. Crying chat emoji. The flames of conflict have finally reached Aurora as well. The Ranse region. An area inhabited by warriors. Why? What? What? Egad? 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 What's he doing there? What's he doing there? Egad? <laughs> I didn't see him at first. Egad? What's he doing? <laughs> oh. Egad is working as an arm dealer. Confirmed. The reason the art is all crusty is because Greta's art is so colorful that the auto compressor barely makes it work. Uh, yeah, fair enough. I think it adds to the charm how crusty it is, to be honest with you. Egad Pro War. Oh my god, I just saw the Among Us. I was like, why is everyone saying Among Us? There is Among Us! There's Sussy Among Us! Sussy Among Us! Sussy Among Us! There's a tale of yore passed down from generation to generation. 
If any one warlord can conquer all 17 kingdoms of Ransei, then the Pokemon that Ransei, that created Ransei, Louis. shall reveal itself Louie, which is Louie! The warriors of the land all believe this tale is true. It is what drives them all. So they fight, they fight for control of the kingdom. There's a, there's a Bingus up there. If we're gonna help you defend the kingdom, then Jigglypuff and I are gonna have to become much stronger. But first, let's take a look around the kingdom of Aurora. Amazing, okay. So we're gonna take a look around our own kingdom first. Here's these kids. I'm sorry. There's a farm not far from here. So rude. Just bumps into her and then walks away. Let's go. Poor chat. Poor chat. Make chat the leader for a round. It's an Easter egg. Oh my god, okay. Noted. That is very exciting. So yeah, for those who hasn't haven't seen this game or didn't even know about it, it's pretty much just your tactical RPG Pokemon, and it's pretty cool. Um, you conquer kingdoms, and, uh, you can recruit other people with other Pokemon to, uh, join your army and stuff. It's pretty neat. There's kind of, like, a control factor to it, too. You have to, um, like, keep control of the kingdoms that you've conquered and, uh, defend against them. You have to, like, split your army up across different kingdoms so you have defense in each one. It's pretty neat, but I've never finished it. Fight. Yeah, for lack of a better word, Fire Emblem X Pokemon is an easy way to describe it. <laughs> Surprises came out overseas. I feel like there's something like this didn't release in Europe or something. Is that how it is? Like this game just didn't come out in Europe? I feel like I read that or heard that somewhere. Pokemon Tact, just like Dragon Quest Tactics, guys! Featuring Rocket Slime references! It didn't come out in Germany, but it did release to some other European countries. Okay. with how Nintendo was their properties or supplies this is made as well. Um, Nintendo, I don't think, has too much control over, like, Pokemon stuff. They, like, they're a shareholder, shareholder, right? But it's really Pokemon Company and Game Freak that does the actual game stuff. And I don't think Pokemon's been too shy for, uh, crossovers before. And it's not like it's like a... It, yeah, it's it's a crossover with Nobunaga's ambition, but it's... Hello, ladies it and is, gentlemen, welcome to hi, Germa. <laughs> one of Germacraft. It is largely still like Pokemon. It doesn't deviate too far from being set in like a Pokemon world, so... Surprised they haven't had a Pokemon Dynasty Warriors Pokemon game. That would be really cool. I feel like I wish they would make Dynasty Warriors games for other Nintendo properties. That would be so cool. I'd play anything. Make a Mario one. I don't care. That'd be so cool.
Nintendo was hesitant about games changing genres. Well, Pokemon's kind of, if anything, Pokemon has been like this series that has always been changing genres. Like we had Pokemon Pinball, Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. Like I wouldn't call this too out of pocket of a crossover when Mystery Dungeon came before it. That's a crossover. Like Mystery Dungeon isn't a Pokemon thing. Like that's its own series and franchise that just got a Pokemon addition to it, basically. Pokemon's always been, like, pretty open for trying other genres, and like we're mentioning, Pokken, yeah. Koroku and his lot, useless! Losing against a complete beginner like that. Suchi no go! Resub for three months? Oh my god, thank you! What the heck? Three whole months? That's awesome! Three months. I'm really happy that you enjoy my content enough to do that. That's awesome. Thank you so much. And also, welcome! Hope you're having a good night. Playing some Pokemon Conquest. Necolacy edition. Pokemon has an on-the-rails shooter. What it? What is the on-the-rails shooter? We're not talking about Snap, right? What game are we talking about? I find it funny how a tactics game makes the most change to Pokemon's genre, but there's only one ever. It is. It is Snap. <laughs> Shoot with your camera. I guess. Yeah, I guess you can say that it's an on-the-rails shooter. Shooting with your camera. I guess it is technically, yes, a rail shooter. You like Pokemon, you like pink stuff, it's a win-win. Absolutely, I feel you on that. Thank you again. And yeah, Tornico Mystery Dungeon was uh, the first one. And it was Dragon Quest. It literally was a Dragon Quest spinoff at, start for, at the start for Mystery Dungeon. It's very cool. If you remember, when they pitched it at first, it was shot down. Then they came back with a playable demo and got some hesitancy and got passed. We're talking about Conquest with that? Interesting. Didn't know about that. You love Dragon Quest? Have you played Rocket Slime? Yeah, you should. It's a pretty cool game. Don't say those words. <laughs> and is obsessed with Rocket Slime. Obsessed. Yeah, I'm surprised by that too, D. I wonder if it was more the theme of the game than the genre. That could be it, yeah. Shock chat face. Yeah, okay, let's let chat lead um, <laughs> in, uh, in this area. Do I just set chat first? Or do I only send chat? I'm actually not sure how to do that. Pick chat first, okay. Mm, I feel like chat is not leading. I might have to pick only chat. It's a whooper. It's a whoopy boy. It didn't work. Well, I wonder if I should only pick chat instead of sending them both in. Whoopa! Pro tag has priority. I'm sure if I maybe sent chat with other characters without the pro tag, then that might that might do it.
Hydrate, I'll have some water. It was Wooper Day yesterday. I got one, no, I got two, two or might have been three regular shiny Whoopers, um, and I got one shiny Paladian. I wish I got more than one for the Paladian form, but I'm glad I got one at least. I have to hydrate for the Wooper occasion. You didn't get any shiny blue ones, but you got two shiny Paladin ones. That's nice, at least. Are you all right? <laughs> at times like this, you should select the warrior option and heal. She's okay. You shouldn't take that much damage. That's okay. I think we're fine. I think we got this. Meowth is so cute. I love the sprite work in this game so much. It's really good. Too bad he's dead now. You got nine shinies. Third encounter was a three-star shiny regular whoop. Well, that's awesome. I never find three-star shinies barely ever. Whoops, I did not mean to do that. Oh my goodness. I meant to get the treasure. Gotta learn how to play this game again. You got a shiny spiel in sleep. I stopped playing sleep just completely. <laughs> I think I was only really playing it to try to get a shiny, and it just was not happening, and then I got sick of having to do it every night, so I just stopped. Play- yeah, playing, quote-unquote. Why do I keep doing that? Yeah, I- it's definitely good if it helps you with your sleep schedule, but I- it really doesn't aid me in any way for sleeping, so I was only really using it to try to get a shiny Pokemon. <laughs> and it wasn't happening, and I just, I just got tired of it. But yeah, if it helps you, and you get a shiny, that's awesome. Get Neroli out of there. The professor is crazy cute in that game. I love his design. So true. You're Neko, right? Leave him alone. Come on, Kiyomasa. We need to have a word with these guys. This is like the clown... The clown gang. You gotta do more than just train. You gotta go attack people. You gotta go kill other people. The text is obscured a bit. Oh shoot, is it? Hang on, let me get another three line dialogue thing so I can try to fix it. Hang on. Mm, you are so right. It sure is. Hang on. Oh yeah, look at that. It's cut off. Hold on, hold on everyone, let me fix this. Nice job. Thank you, Jerma. Thank you. There, that's better. 
can't be here for long, but is this a conquest mod? No, this is the normal game. <laughs> this is the normal game. <laughs> yes, this is a mod. This is a Pokemon conquest mod made by Mystic Engar. Okay, so we're gonna go fight people. We're gonna go do some attacking. Apparently the conquest modding scene is actually very expansive. You gotta practice Night Slash when a samurai, after receiving a new weapon or developing a new fighting style, tests his effectiveness by attacking a random defenseless passerby. Did not know that's what that is. I guess we're gonna have to do that. <laughs> We've got no choice. I mean, Germa's right there. <laughs> Let's get him. His back is turned. Quick! You're the warlord of Aurora. I never thought I'd see you over here. Two can play at that game. Then a battle it is. <gasps> Guys, chat! Chat! This guy is hitting on you. Don't worry, I'm gonna beat him up. I'm gonna get him for that one. Don't call me cutie. <laughs> Good for you, chat, for standing up for yourself. You gotta kill him now. Death to him. Yeah, Gengar, go ahead and post a link to that uh, modding server in the Discord, for sure. Time for him to die. How dare you call chat cute. Music is so good. Music is so good. I love music and songs. Yeah, no problem, Unstoppable. Have a good night. Thanks for stopping by. No, I love the sprite work in this game so much. They're so cute. Also, yes, thank you, Gengar, for dropping that in there. I like the fire type army that features Chimchar, Tepig, and Bidoof. Classic. Classic Bidoof. Also, he fell asleep. Good night. <laughs> We got some healing on Jigglypuff, that's great. Bidoof is the best fire type. The cure for burns, hot water, <laughs> helps so much. The diamond, pearl, flint fire type team, true. Actually so true. They've all got ranged attacks. We're okay, though. In an earlier concept stage, you were gonna replace Jigglypuff, but lack of spreading ability aside, you just figured it complimented Autono anyway. That Yeah, the Jigglypuff does go well with Autono. That is true. Didn't know you could terrestrialize Bidoof to be fire type in this game. 
I want to get past that, please. I'm assuming that's going to go away eventually. Let's just um, stay there for now. So rude to Bidoof. You don't deserve Bidoof. Oh, thank you, Aaron. That's sweet of you. Appreciate that. I will have fun with Conquest. It's a very fun game. Oh no, Jigglypuff. 21 damage! At least it got Chimchar. It didn't too much, though. I don't know if that flame pillar is going anywhere. Let's go ahead and move this way. Take out the doof. Pokemon Rusty Red shows Bidoof can be a fighting type. I've not played that. I've heard about it, though. I've heard it's a pretty good ROM hack. Or fan game. Not sure which one, actually. But I've seen it around, for sure. Take out Chimchar. Miss? Great. Thanks, Jigglypuff. Rusty Red was a YouTube series. Oh, I might be confusing the name with a ROM hack or something. I must be thinking of something else. There may not be a fan game called Rusty Red. There's a ROM hack called, like, Something Red. Radical Red. I think that's what I'm thinking of. Yes. Good job, chat. There probably is a lot of ROM hacks called Something Red. I think Radical Red was the one I was thinking of, though. Rusty the Dorkly series. Now, why does that sound so familiar? Actually, I might have watched that. Rusty Red? Also, Rip Chimchar getting killed by the boulder falling from the sky. That works for me. Jiggly. I know. Jiggly's gonna pull back for a minute here. He got sniped by a boulder. Alright, we can take out Tepig. I believe in us. So close. And he gets that attack boost, but I think we're gonna be okay. Redeemed Hydrate! <laughs> That's good. That's really good. Redeemed Hydrate. There it is. Hydrate. Let's have some water. That's a lot of Hydrate. That's a lot of water. I'm drinking it, I promise. I'm drinking. I'm sipping. 
Um, the things they drop were like presents, and I think you can find gold and items inside of them if you uh, land a Pokemon on top of them. Tepig, you coward. Get over here. We've got him now. We've got him now, chat. I'll remember this, you know. I'm sure you will. Ignis Castle is ours. Let's go, chat. Didn't mean to be angry there. Let's go. Gone off somewhere. Gone off somewhere. Gone off somewhere. See ya. See you later. Good riddance. Never called chat cute again. Alright, so we own this kingdom now. The Fire Kingdom is ours. Congratulations! Thanks, chat! Thank you! Thank you so much, chat! Your second castle. Ah, this guy always takes me off guard so much. Like, look at this guy. Look at him! What's going on with this guy? I look so excited to see him. I'm like, woo! Long hair guy. God damn, I know. Look at him. What a character design. We're a little cute, but that guy isn't allowed to call us that. Yeah, chat is cute, obviously. But I'm not letting that guy say it to you. This is someone's blurbo. This is absolutely someone's blurbo. Finish setting up your room's lights, you can focus on stream. Congrats on the light setup, that's awesome. If you don't even know how to make allies, then I guess you've got a way to go before you can be considered a real warlord. Chat has nothing to say, dot dot dot. Don't be like that, I wasn't making fun of you. I have no idea what this guy's deal is, I have no idea. I have never gotten far enough in this game to see what his deal is. <laughs> Though I am terribly curious. Please redeem hydrate and chat. No, 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 no. I have enough water. I have enough water. No, no, no. Don't, d don't do that. I have enough water. Oh God. <laughs> I'm drinking. I'm drinking water. I'm drinking it. <laughs> Saved! Exclamation point, exclamation point, exclamation point, exclamation point. Love that. This dude's... He gets nothing until his own sub-story. Okay, I see. He's one of those characters. All right, um, we're gonna make some fire type allies. Recommend going to the settings and set animations to fast. That sounds like a great idea. Titan, what is that? That's a fake redeem. You didn't actually redeem, Hydrate. You're trying to trick me. <laughs> no, it's real. That sounds good too, actually. Fast message speed. It's definitely a redeem. It's definitely real. Oh, I sick of Oh, Sycamore! You're blocking my entire face! Sycamore is in a slightly different spot than he usually is. Get blocked. <laughs> S 
Sycamore will make you stand for the flag. Let me move him over. There we go. I can't move him. <laughs> he inches like a worm. I can't really, like, move him, with, like, super a lot because it technically would move every other redeem that's like him. Because it's all, like, on a big source that takes up the whole screen and I kind of set different spots to spawn at. So it's not super, like, movable around, but Hello, that works. And, and there's Germa. Episode one of Germacraft. Like that one. Yeah, like that one. Also, good luck with writing, Star Champ. Thank you, and enjoy your foods. Thanks for stopping by the stream. Okay. Hey there, you two. What are you doing here? Loitering in my new kingdom. So he's gonna teach me how to uh, make friends, basically. They're both standing for the flag. Thank you, Jerma, for standing for the flag. Jerma keeps taunting till he finally appears in the story. I'm pretty sure once we um, capture the other two, like, baby tutorial kingdoms is when we get the first Jerma lore drop. So that's what we're going to aim for. This is now Kirby Star Allies. This is just like Star Allies. Yes, there is a warrior. You want me to join you, eh? You're gonna have to show me what you can do first. Chat, do you ever go to a cave? Do you ever just like go to a cave and find a guy in there? Who's talking about how you want him to join? your band, then you gotta fight him. Happens all the time. All the time it happens. So normal. You had a dream where that happened. Like, actually? You had a dream like that? This is what living in the UK is like. This is an accurate simulation of life in the UK. Didn't want to change too much of the dialogue to preserve the original story since you haven't finished the game. Um, you know, you can, you can um, probably change like most of the non-important dialogue if you wanted to. And just try to retain, like, the important stuff. Okay, we got Ch Charmander Man. Wait, what did that say? Gengar! What did that say? Select warriors you want to take hostage? I don't know if anyone else caught that. I'm so sad that I skipped past it. I caught it at the very last second. 2.0 will feature all of my thank god. Take hostage. I'm gonna have to recruit somebody else so I can see that again. You may have changed a lot of the system's dialogue. I love that. Feeling pretty happy with yourself, huh? Oh, you again. They're like, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, exclamation point. Aurora is surrounded by other kingdoms. There's still Greenleaf and Fontaine. Praying I land a crit before the stream ends. Now I also am praying for that. This guy, settle down. This guy is insane. Don't make that face at me. Close your mouth. Put your shark tooth away. Chill out. Mm. 
wise bro like that. Okay, let's try to recruit another fire type to help against Greenleaf. No, I won't send you off anywhere on your own, chat. Don't worry. You're gonna stay right next to me, chat. Don't worry. I'll keep you safe. He's got Groose hair, too. He's got Groose hair. There is a strange man with Darumaka in here. If I recall correctly, Darumaka is crazy OP in this game, so we're gonna go for that. No, it's true. He is. Right? He's so OP. I remember that from when I played. Wait, did I only send this guy? Did I only send this guy? What happened? What have I done? Chat! Uh, this was Gen 5. I'm gonna get out of here. <laughs> I only sent that one guy. No, there's no one there. You sent him on a mission into enemy territory and did not expect him to return. Well, I'm gonna reroll the month until I get another, at least some guy with a Pokemon. Okay, look, this is better. There's two guys. There's two whole guys. One, two, three. Send all three. Not just one guy. Progressing time, um, I think matters later in the game. Because I believe other kingdoms can try to take your kingdoms, but in the tutorial section, I don't think it matters very much. Not in this story. Okay, there's your answer. Not in this story. entire story is one glorified tutorial. See, the fruit that I've gotten in this story, and this whole game for that matter, um, is the trio of, uh, the Bug Kingdom, uh, Electric Kingdom, and whatever the third one was in that section. Electric? I just said electric. But those, like, the second trio of kingdoms after these ones, that's how far I've gotten in this game ever, so... Aramaka is just that guy. Violet, Pugilus, and Chrysalia. Right, it was fighting type for... I don't know, Pugilist? Pugilist? I don't know. Actually, how to say that? Pugilist sounds gross. Pugilist. <sighs> Give Bingus a pat. I will focus. We're definitely going to get Darumaka. That's our main priority. 
we will also try for Tepig. Whoop. Oh, darn it. I did not mean to wait. An actual DS card, the Audino heart emoji, which shows up on the touchscreen for the little like cartridge icon on the menu. That is so cute. I want to get this on an actual cartridge. <laughs> that would be so funny. Seeing this on an actual DS would be like the surreal. Wait, I can do that. I have a modded 3DS. I could just put this on there. <laughs> That's crazy. It wouldn't be a physical cartridge, but still. Finally, Necolisi for the DS. It's a good thing modding a 3DS is surprisingly easy. Yes, it is. Nekolisi takes over your dual screen system. We might not get Tebig, but if we don't, that's okay. of war should do the trick. Very true. the job. Kill. Kill, kill, kill. Select warriors you wish to take hostage. There it is. <laughs> Amazing. And then he thanks me for it. He thanks me for taking him hostage. You're welcome. Okay. I think we're good to take on Greenleaf. The Warlord of Greenleaf uses Grass Pokemon. Yes, our fire types will be very helpful. I like the design of the warlord here. It's pretty cool. There he is. He's a funny guy. He's a funny guy. You're the new warlord of Aurora, aren't you? I've heard a lot about you, but I didn't expect this you to be this young. I suppose you need a bit of youthful energy in this rough old world. <laughs> Maybe it's time for my generation to call it a day. 
can you say such a thing? Our army would fall apart without your wisdom. It's like he just tried to give up his kingdom to me immediately before being like, oh man, guess I gotta fight you. Yeah, he looks goofy in like a way that like he's actually wise. Oh! <laughs> Did someone say bloodlust? Activate the ultimate weapon. Yeah, he doesn't actually look that old, though, is the thing. Monotari is the 20-year-old who sees a 16-year-old and says, Oh man, I'm so old. <laughs> so true, Storm Stormstripe. That is him. Swaddle! Swaddle's here. Imagine if Queen Lizzie was like, Hey, do you want the UK? I'm tired of this. You can have it. <laughs> What do you think it takes to win battles? You're thinking strength, right? So he to this battle we have to reclaim or claim the, the flags, basically. It's like a tower control type of fight. I also wouldn't want the UK. <laughs> You're rooting for the enemy side, Yumi? I understand. I I, I get the Suwaddle love. Nari did live till 74 in real life. Okay, so he was pretty old then. Does not look 74 right now in this game. Not quite there yet, I guess. Good thing we're not killing him, we're just killing his Pokemon. Thank you, chat. Thank you. Zelda Jingle? What did that say? Found a secret Zelda jingle place? <laughs> That's cute, Gengar. But did he command grass-type Pokemon in real life? I think so. I think he did, right? That only makes sense. Okay, that's ours. W in chat! <laughs> Claim the banner, W in chat! W Q. That's the wrong one, Mintley. Missed. Your finger slipped. You grabbed the wrong one. Okay, they got that one, but that's okay. No, it's not a dub in chat. But it's not a dub in chat. That's an L in chat. No dubs for them. W stands for Wario. Dub so big, Wario had to come out of the W door. Yeah, Gengar, if you want to drop the link to the patch in the announcements channel, you totally can. Did not mean to do that. <laughs> Did not mean to use the secret entrance. Poor Suwaddle. Rest in peace, Suwaddle. Watch out, Snivy. We're coming for ya. 
Darumaka sweep. Your Pokemon, I don't know, it looks like you two have grown fairly close. Is it because we look identical? <laughs> I read there's some faraway world where people put Pokemon into these little balls and carry them around. Pretty strange, no? Now where did I read that? I guess the peaceful days where I can just focus on my Pokemon research are still a long ways away. Funny implications um, from that dialogue. He read about a place where Pokeballs are used. And I think the earliest time we know of Pokeballs being used would be like their initial invention in Legends, right? So, and this was obviously before um, that game. So it's interesting, it's cool. Fun to think about. Stop talking about non-crossovers. Not allowed. looks at human Audino. Hmm, you and your Pokemon look a little similar. Have you noticed that? Must be a coincidence. This is the same time as Diamond and Pearl. They're just really old-fashioned. This is taking place in modern time in Pokemon World. These people are just way behind. That's funny. Right there. Right. Hang on. There we go. Oh my god, Jigglypuff, no. The Jigglypuff is you, Mintley? Well, you- yeah, you are chat, so technically, yes, that is correct. Ouch. Oh my god. Crit. Wait, what did it say? I blame Lysander? <laughs> Is that what the crit said? <laughs> I blame Lysander. It had been Gengar. That was really good. <laughs> that. That's great. Mm, I'm sorry, Sawaddle. Lysander. What? Sorry, force a habit to blame everything on Lysander. Listen, if Sawaddle would just move off the banner, I wouldn't have to, uh, wouldn't have to do anything, but it's kind of standing in my way right now. They are just a baby. That is true. Imagine the pit was created from him firing the ultimate weapon earlier. Curse you, Lysander! Trapping my Jigglypuff.
the AI will prioritize Banner over everything else. Interesting. Perfect. Thank you, Gengar, for doing that. So if anyone wants to play this modded version of the game, uh, you can. The patch is in the Discord server. Alright, so we've beaten everyone. We just gotta actually claim the banners now. Um, <laughs> for anyone who would watch my YouTube videos, you might remember um, I was playing this game on my channel. And the first time I did this battle, I actually lost. I defeated all their Pokemon, but didn't get the banner in time and lost the whole fight because of that. It's pretty good. You remember that? Yep. Classic. Classic moment. Good job, team. Oh, and we get to put Lumi. Lumi, look. Both the bottles are going to join us. So it's okay. We're going to take them hostage. Lysander, the type of guy to light a bomb and wait for it to go off. But the bomb doesn't go off, so he goes to check on it. And that's when the bomb explodes. Yeah, <laughs> it's so true. <laughs> he is exactly that kind of guy. Freaking cartoon character. can be left in peace now. You're a more worthy warlord for Greenleaf than I. I only ask that you take good care of my beloved kingdom. This is where you go bug only mode. Only bugs. We did it chat. We saved the city. Now let's take these Suwaddles hostage. Life center the type of guy to put the shotgun in the mouse hole and it shoots him from off screen. So true. Saved exclamation point. Is anyone gonna redeem hydrate that time? Yep, okay. Alright, I drank. Okay, so we're gonna try to recruit, um, like a couple more grass types. I remember Carnivine being totally cracked in this game, so I'm gonna try to find a Carnivine, I think. There, speak of the devil. Carnivine spotted. Let's go. Don't know if you'd be able to do vanilla conquest with mono bug. Is it there's not enough selection? That's too bad. I like bug types. Lysander, the type of guy that watches Arch Nemesis paint a road on a wall and run through it. So he tries to run through it, but he crashes into the wall and leaves a crater shaped like his body. Wild E. Coyote type character. Okay, our main priority is Carnivine. I just remember having a really easy time with, uh, oh wait, it's this one right here, I think. I remember the uh, Water Kingdom being really easy, and I remember having a Carnivine, so... Someone try Lysander like Yosemite Sam. <laughs> That'd be really funny. You could solo with Scyther. Scyther is pretty strong.
lice into the type of guy to break off the end of the cliff, but the base of the cliff falls off and he looks at the camera for, you, for a few seconds before falling. All right, and what are you doing? <laughs> Are you- are you doing what I think you're doing? <laughs> Scyther is so cool. So true. Cool miss, chat. Cool miss. Mm, I can't- I should've- uh, I can't attack- um, I can't attack him from there, because he's... I gotta be one space away, at least. That's annoying. <sighs> Lysander gets more screen time and better writing from being a cartoon villain than actual X and Y is so true! So true. He makes a better cartoon villain. I mean, he already is basically a cartoon villain. That's how seriously you take him. He's Wily Coyote and the Roadrunner is all life on Earth. Shows up once, makes really weird and sexist comments to a woman in a coffee shop. He actually does. He actually is really weird in that scene, at that beginning scene with uh, Diantha in the cafe. He's like, wow, you're so pretty. Don't you want to be pretty forever? You're going to grow old and be ugly. And she's like, what the hell are you talking about? He's such a weirdo. Are you the only person who has ever read the Adventures XY manga? Um, I ha I- no, I haven't read most of- of Adventures. Um, I started reading the Gold Silver series and was in really enjoying it, and then I stopped for no reason. I should pick it back up. It was really fun to read. But I bet Lysander is better in the manga. I would- I would believe that. Haha, <laughs> no, don't get older, you're so pretty. Such a weirdo. Such a strange man. world is imperfect. If only I could wipe away the impurities and make it as beautiful as me. <sighs> Lysander, Lysander. No swag, Team Flare. They have no swag. They're all about fashion, but they are not really fashionable at all. I mean, the admins do slay. The admins slay, but that's about it. He makes Callum use at least six megas. Wait, he makes Callum have to use six megas at once just to stop him. Damn, that's crazy. Did not know that. So clearly, he's a much bigger threat in the manga than he is in the games. Alright, Cottony, it's just you. Come on. Pack it up. Pack it up. Let's go. Oh my god, why'd I do that? I always do that by accident.
Don't wait. Go back and then do it. Okay. Chat, no! One HP! <laughs> I find it hilarious how they baked XY's easy difficulty into the manga by making the player a child prodigy. That's a creative way to go about it. Um, honestly, the one move per Pokemon is not, um, not as bad as it might seem from when I played the game. I didn't really have any problems with it. Okay, we can take a couple hostages here. It's balanced well. Yeah, that's good. Okay, we are ready to fight. Fontaine. Let's go. Uh-oh, wait. Oh, sorry. Put them in here. Oh, no, sorry. They gotta go somewhere else. Hang on. Just go in there for now. So this is where you have to, like, um, like, move your warriors around and try to, uh, like, strategize where they go. I don't think it matters too much in the, like, base game story. Um, I think it maybe that matters more in the other stories, maybe. Um, not sure, but yeah, like, now these guys are here, and these guys are here, kind of thing. You gotta move them around when you want to rearrange things. So, what we're gonna do is, uh, probably move the fire guys, uh, back into the fire kingdom. Which I can do somehow, right? I can... Oh, I gotta finish the month, I think. Do I? Or can I just... Challenge Fontaine with my grass guys. Yeah, no, my grass guys are all. Hold on, hold on. So, March. Okay, here we go. This is what I want. Okay, so move these guys into Aurora. And then I can challenge Fontaine. Okay, we got it. We got to figure it figured out. Where are we dropping, boys? Where are we dropping? This guy is crazy. This guy's design is crazy. <laughs> so you are Neko. I heard Aurora had a new warlord, but I always thought we would meet on the battlefield in, battlefield in Aurora, not here. A battle is a battle, no matter where it takes place. Wow, so wise, so cool. Looks like if Sidon was an edgy human. <laughs> Sidon's human Sona. 2001 emo boy. Very true. 
He is very dramatic that way. The spirit of the water gushes forth. Shall we sample some of it? Hydrate? Is he telling me to hydrate? I'll hydrate. Also, good job, Titan. Good job. There's water everywhere. Don't worry, chat. It's okay. Don't freak out. Mm, drinking water. Love water. Oh, Jason. Not now. Not now, Jason. I'll go this way on a little solo mission. This guy is so dramatic. Please take this Karaidon. Please take it. Please, it's I swear it's legit. It's not hacked. It's very real. No, no, no. Right there. Thank you. for me. You have to take it now. Please, take it off my hands. Ow, two damage. Yikes. The deed is done. Oh god, and I forgot that's what you were doing this whole time. Hang on, hang on. Let me have a look. Oh my god, and why is this so good? Why is there so much effort put into this? Hang on, let me pause the game for a second. Oh my god. This is so high quality. <laughs> Pokemon. It's <laughs> it's Lysander as Yosemite Sam, everyone. It's so good. Ow. It's so good. Look at him. He's such a crazy little guy. It's beautiful. Oh, this is so funny. I can't believe you drew this. Thank you. You just made this real. No hesitation. You brought this into the world. I love it. It is so impressive how fast N can draw. And it's so high quality. It's amazing. I'm the weapon shootingest, legendary, catchingest, evil leaderest man this side of Johto. <laughs> oh, so good. Lysamity Sander. <laughs> Oh, speaking of, there he goes. That, <laughs> there he goes. Another classic stunt by Lysamity Sandra. <laughs> God, that was so good. Thank you, and I love it. And hello, Manuela, welcome. I'll get that confounded diggers beat. We love clowning on Lysander. We love it. Oh no, oh no, Swaddle. Oh no, oh no. Oh, it's fine. That did nothing. <laughs> That did nothing. Oh, 
Oh my god, here's how cracked Carnivine is. Good lord, <laughs> so much damage! Big slap. If anyone's interested in helping make it 2.0 for this, DM Gengar, definitely, yeah. If anyone wants to help Gengar out with a further further modding the game, definitely reach out to him. Mainly replacing sprites, so that's what require the most effort, I see. Sprites take forever. That's the hardest part, eh? Interesting. Carnivine is so strong. <laughs> it's taken out multiple Pokemon at once. Over a thousand hours spent on sprites. Dang. Oh yes, Mobs. The music in this game is fantastic. It is so good. There's definitely plenty of dialogue in the game that you could write over. No, oh, I just realized that's gonna have friendly fire. Oh well, it's okay. No one important died besides the guy. And that's how we wanted to die, so it worked out. Fontaine Castle was ours. So easy. Carnivine makes that so easy. Oh, that's handy. Grab some water types, too. That's a big help. You won fair and square. The kingdom of Fontaine is all yours. But even though my castle is lost, my Pokemon will never leave me. Good for you, buddy. Take some warriors hostage. Why not? We got a whoopee. You've got writing credits in games. Oh, whoa. That's so cool. What games have you written for? Oh my god, okay. Um, we're coming up on the, uh, the Germa lore drop, guys. We're coming up on the Germa lore drop. This is what we've been waiting for. Chat is crying and emotional and sad. <laughs> right now it's Endless Dark. It's on Steam. Should be hitting 
1.9 soon and 1.0 full release in a few months. That's so cool. Um, if you want to, Suchinoki, you could share that game in the Discord server. That'd be really cool. I, I'd be interested to check it out since you're you've doing writing for it. So, if you'd like to, definitely share it. Okay. All right. Let's see what what's up with chat. You've heard the stories too, haven't you, Lady Neko? The legendary Pokemon who is said to appear before the one who conquers all the kingdoms. The truth is that right now, Rayensei is on the brink of destruction. Far to the north of Aurora, a certain warlord has set out on the road to conquest. <laughs> was to conquer all the kingdoms and destroy Rainsay. What a menace, this guy. This guy is m messed up. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to episode <laughs> one of Germacraft. Incredibly timed. Incredibly timed. Thank you. The evil Germa wants to conquer all kingdoms, unlike us, the good guys, who want to conquer all the kingdoms. If Germa is trying to destroy Rancey, he probably wants to use the power of the legendary Pokemon to do so. So I think we should find this legendary Pokemon before Germa does. Yes, makes sense. That is logical. That way we can save Rancey. Luckily, Germa's reach doesn't extend this far south yet. Pugilus, Violet, and Chrysalia are the three kingdoms that are nearest to us. Each of their warlords is famed far and wide for their courage and strength. If we could get them to join us, our army would be truly formidable. The legendary Pokemon, a tier three sub. Oh my god. Saved! Exclamation point, exclamation point, exclamation point. There she is. There she is. Neko in chat. <laughs> Woo! Woo! Another deranged stunt caused by Germa. When will the madness end? When will he stop? Emotion, now! The crust is immaculate, and I love it. Well, that's a great stopping point. Uh, Gengar, this is incredible. <laughs> Thank you so much again for making this, and I am so excited to play more of it and see the rest of this madness. Oh my god. This is very good. So funny. And thank you for putting the game in the Discord, Tsuchinoko. I'm definitely gonna have a look at that. Crazy excited for more. Absolutely, Alyssa. Yes, awesome hack. So fun. Um, alright. I'm gonna see if there's anybody to raid. Let me pause that, because the music tends to go crazy if I'm not tapped into it for some reason, so... Okay, let's have a look. Is anybody playing... Pokemon Conquest. That's my first question. No, it's just somebody named Necolacy, so... Specifically streaming Necolacy Conquest. <laughs> so, <laughs> yes, stream Conquest, but specifically play this version. OMG Raid Her, who is that? Top Conquest streamer on Twitch. By default, the only one. Hmm. 
Is anyone playing um, Colosseum or Gales of Darkness? Is anyone streaming Peggle? Raid me. I would. I would definitely raid you. I would raid you, Titan. Mm hmm. Raid me, I'm about to go to bed. Raid end as soon as as soon as you're going to sleep. Pokemon sleep stream? Pokemon sleep shiny hunt stream? It's just me sleeping? Peggle. Is anyone playing Peggle? I'm looking. <laughs> Peggle 2. There's one person playing Peggle, actually. One person is playing Peggle. Which is which is shocking to me. Like <laughs> why is there one person playing Peggle? <laughs> Um, I might just, uh, raid someone. Oh, yeah, you, me, please. Uh, tell me who to raid, please. <laughs> Give me someone to raid. <laughs> Having a hard time here. Shiny hunting sounds great. Let's raid a shiny hunter. Give me someone. Nora in the future. Let's look up that one. Nora in the future. Go. Hey, they've got the stream avatars too. I love that. Okay. Hey, sounds good to me. I mean, we got a lot of viewers. Whoa. Both are trans and stream Pokemon. I love that. Let me just check the other one really quick. Talks to me. There's they're shiny hunting and brilliant diamond. Ah, oh, tough choice. Well, Sycamore does love that. You know what? There he is. Speak of the devil. I think I will raid uh, Toxime because looks like she has less viewers. So I think it'd be nice to raid the one with less viewers. Give him some more viewers. So we're gonna raid someone. Uh, they are shiny hunting in Scarlet Violet. Sorry, not Brilliant Diamond. I don't know why I thought Brilliant Diamond. Shiny hunting in Scarlet Violet. Um, if you want to hang out, you can hang out, chill out for a bit. Uh, otherwise, have a good night. Thanks for coming, everybody. I'll be live again tomorrow night. Stream is 18 plus. Okay. Hmm. Actually. How 18 plus? <laughs> like... Is the other stream 18 plus? Well, I don't see an 18 plus tag on Nora in the future stream, so I might go with that one just to be safe. I don't like want to rate anyone into a stream that might not be their type of thing. So yeah, uh, we'll raid Nora in the future. 
that works for me. All right, Yumi, thank you for the suggestion. That is awesome. I love uh, when you guys tell me someone to raid. Helps me out because I have a hard time deciding. Okay, I'm going to raid in 10 seconds. Have a good night, everybody. Thank you, everyone, for hanging out. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. And thank you, Gengar, for making this. It's very cool. Okay, have a good night. Bye. No way. That's like farm loot for me. Howdy. Welcome in, Kamyon. Mobs. Yumi Sparkles. Thank you so much for the raid. Uh, hello. I'm going to play my uh, intro video and it'll, it's exactly 59 seconds and I will be right back. Starting now. For anybody who's new, my name's Nora. Oh my god, shiny Cyndaquil. Another shiny Chikorita. Ah, shiny Totodile. Oh my god, shiny Clink. Wait, that's a shiny one. What is this? Oh my god. Twitch donated $500. Oh my god. Heck yes. It's the biggest chase. I mean, I want the Mew and stuff. No, we're not talking about tuna water. The only way to get eaten by a shark to save the life.